Hello, hello, and welcome back, folks, to Broken News. As with every change of season, I have a breakdown. You're about to experience one as well. The Breakdown. Uh, breakdown. A spacewalk outside the International Space Station was postponed recently due to a minor medical issue. Those involved reassured us that it is not a medical emergency of significant concern. That is reassuring. However, it leaves me to be wondering about one thing. Could this potentially be the first case of the shits in space? 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 Space shits. <laughs> Rumors have surfaced that the traveling spacecraft was grounded due to air toxicity following the new NASA-approved shrimp jambalaya liquid meal. <laughs> rice a refused to comment. An ancient spider known as the Lagana Megapid spider was recently discovered entombed in 99 million year old amber. John Hammond, stay the fuck away. However, John Williams, you're here <laughs> to stay. <laughs> No, but honestly, John Williams is like an absolute national treasure. Like, we should keep him alive as long as possible. A pair of performance artists in California conducted a green wedding in which they married the Earth. Dubbing themselves ecosexuals, they went on to wed the sky, moon, and other natural entities. I think they should go fuck themselves. Sorry, sorry. I, for one, believe these holy unions prophesied the birth of humanity's greatest protector. Yes, he's our hero, and he'll bring pollution down to zero. He's Captain Planet! And I swear to God, if Netflix makes an adaptation that is like as bad as The Mighty Ducks, wow, I'm gonna be so pissed, because you know what, The Mighty Ducks, Emilio Estevez was back, man. You know what? I know people wouldn't have been happy with him being with Lorelai, you know? Like, really, seriously, that's where it was predictably headed, and I wanted it to go there. I really wanted it to go there. Folks, I've been recently on my fashion game, and if you haven't noticed that, then you really are rude. But I've been changing ties nearly every segment, so I hope you've noticed that, and now I got pigtails, so isn't that what a world? Anywho, the Met Gala took place now several Mondays back, and somehow my invite got lost in the mail. Huh. That doesn't mean I won't be reviewing a couple of outfits, though. Pete Davidson visited his local Spirit Halloween store and forged the bargain bin for a Matilda costume, while Kim Kardashian went the DIY route and showed up as a shadow of her former self. <laughs> I may have lost your invite in the mail, Met Gala. But hey... Sexy can I? Sexy I can. <laughs> In what can only be described as the best location for a Halloween party this year, Airbnb rented out the actual house from Scream on Halloween. And what can only be described as a deal you'll find at Five Below, and only cost you $5 for the night. <laughs> Crazy. Cheap. Also included, <laughs> David Arquette. Oh, David Arquette. Whose character may have survived, but whose career died in that house. In sporting news, the NCAA has recently decided to extend March Madness to women's college basketball tournaments. And I think this is way past overdue. What great news for equality. Unfortunately, however, the NCAA did also break the news that there will be 25% fewer games this season. Equality, my ass. But hey, at least we finally reached equal pay because get it? like. The NCAA doesn't pay their players anything. I expect them to uh, get a lot of school done. A species of mouse known as the Gould's mouse that is thought to be extinct for nearly 150 years was discovered living a private existence on an island off the coast of Western Australia. But hmm, an island where extinct things still exist. A place where I can wear my FUBU jeans, eat Dippin' Dots, and browse for VHSs at a Blockbuster only to get myself kicked out because I got caught looking at the restricted section, you know, the one behind the beaded curtain, at a copy of Goodwill Humping and The Hills Have Thighs. Did get away with the James Bondage box set thing, and I, I think that's just because it's a pun. Speaking of shitting themselves, everyone's favorite flatulating family is set to return as Jackass Forever hits theaters next year. I know I'm excited. I'm a huge fan of jackasses. 
I can't wait to see Steve-O and Bam destroy everything and... John... What was that, David? Bam, je pense qu'il était mort. What? That... Well, that's crazy. That, I mean... But, uh, NBD, <laughs> they still have Knoxville and Dunn, so that's oh, cool. Oh, John? Dunn, il était mort. Sorry, my French isn't so great. One more time. Bad de Dunn. No! No! That, 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 that's, no way! I just thought, you know, that was a meme or something. N no. Sad. Well, shit. Now I just feel sad, everyone. And old. <laughs> well, on the bright side, we'll always have Don Vito's fat face to look forward to. <laughs> That'll cheer me up. A recent study has shown that giraffes have been largely misunderstood for quite some time. They have been found to be, in fact, just as socially complex as elephants. Alas, the giraffes of the world can now live in peace at the watering hole, free of ridicule and shame thrown upon them from the animal kingdom for their social inadequacies. Um, so like... Uh, that's when I discovered alternative milks, and my life really changed. Uh, rice milk is pretty good, oat milk good, soy milk I'm not really big on, but I am from Ohio, so I like to support soybean farming. Anyway, their mammalian tormentors, however, are left to concentrate efforts on other shortcomings. Like, <laughs> looking dopey as fuck. <laughs> I mean, look at them, folks. Why don't we show another clip of those tall drinks of idiocy? Giraffe kicks are known to be deadly. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh, Given that a giraffe's uh, legs are longer uh, than my David's hand, who is the um spokesperson for giraffes? Is it uh, uh, Steve Herman's kid or is it Jeffrey at Toys R Us? Jeffrey. Jeffrey at Toys R Us. Okay, Jeffrey, listen to me. On behalf of all of us at BNN, I am so sorry and I definitely didn't mean that. To all of your giraffe buddies, I, I am so sorry. Dude, did you see that he like, we, that, that giraffe like we. Michael Strahan stomped a lion? Whoa. Il y a quelqu'un ici qui voudrait un crêpe. <laughs> dude, nice one. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, oh no, oh no. Well, that's been the breakdown, folks. Ta-ta. <laughs>